Hey guys, it's Monica. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is going to be another chit chatty type of a video. However, I don't think it's going to be kind of that depressing rant I had last time, but I am going to update you on my diet because last video I talked about getting fat and I'm going to talk about what I'm doing about it and how it's going so far. And I'm going to update you on something I've been experimenting on my face, which is kind of really funky, but, and then um, also uh, wig updates. I got like some exciting wigs this week to talk about, but I know not everyone's into the wigs. So if you're curious about my most recent wig buying experience, stay tuned to the very end. I'll put timestamps below so that those of you that are here just for wig talk you can go right to the very end and you can enjoy the wig talk and I can tell you all about this and my buying experience so stay tuned <laughs> You know, since our, our last visit, since my last video, I've been sort of between, betwixt and between, you know, about YouTube, not, not about YouTube, about my video content. Because part of me is like, I don't want to come on here and talk about buying stuff when I'm not buying stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really not. I'm not, I'm not shopping. I'm not spending needless money although I did buy a wig. Um, but I'm, I'm just really trying to be very, very careful and conservative in a lot of ways. So, you know, I wanna talk about products. I don't wanna talk about this and talk about that. So I haven't been really doing a whole lot of videos. I've been doing more of my, my daily vlogging, little Insta stories on Instagram. And I'm in the middle of that challenge I talked about last week, the VEDA uh, video every day in April challenge that I'm doing, mainly work-related, but also wigs, skincare whatever I feel like talking about in my VEDA challenge. So I've been doing those little daily videos and that's kind of fun and all that and lighthearted, you know, nothing super heavy. But yeah, it's been an interesting week between everything that's going on at work and then really having recommitted, rebooted my diet. And I talked about that in my last week because I, in my last video, because I found myself just spiraling into this, not self-pity, but into this, comfort food, you know, uh, because the stress was getting to me and I was eating and devouring this and devouring that and not exercising, basically. So I rebooted myself and I said, I'm going to be really good and really diligent and do certain things. So what I've been doing is I've ramped up my water intake. I've really gone on a good vitamin. I'm doing some of my isogenics, uh, my morning vitamins and stuff like that with the isogenic program. I've been doing some of my protein, but not all the time. But more importantly, what I've been doing is ramping up the water, ramping up my exercise. Nothing crazy, but I have started each morning with 20 minutes now every day on the elliptical. And I hate that guy, Don, elliptical. I hate it. It's not easy. But I do 20 minutes every morning and I usually go in there and I have my iPad, my earbuds in and I'm listening to a video or I'm watching something or listening to a true crime podcast or something. And that kind of makes the 20 minutes really go away. I've only missed one day of that so far this week. But so every morning I've been really religious about that, which I really, I think has really helped me. In the short time that I've done it, that I've ramped up just the movement, just you know, I haven't hit the 10,000 step goal that I have, but that's okay. What I have hit was moving every single day, and that to me is important. So I'm trying to be mindful of my total caloric intake, although I'm not like obsessing with it. I'm not at the obsessive stage. I just want to, I want to slowly take off the weight I've gained. If I can do it slowly, that's going to be awesome. That's really what I want to do. That's what I've been doing, you know, water, trying to eat more healthy, make more conscious choices, because I, I realized that the more my, and I've been drink, I've been doing that elderberry, elderberry vitamins, elderberry supplements. I really think they help build up your immune system, especially with this virus going around. So I've been doing everything I can to build up my immune system and when I do go out, I go out very protected. Now, I, 
We have gone for a walk across the street. We have this trail down into the woods. It's conservation land back there. And so Jay and I went down there and we hadn't been there in a, quite a while. I think two years, maybe three years since we've walked down there. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing because we came upon this, this like cabin or the structure. <laughs> wow. I wonder who it belongs to. It belongs to the guy that owns the land. You are being videotaped. Smile. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Little fire pit. Wow, look at that. It's like a log cabin. Yeah. How long has it been since we've been down here? It's been a long time. Gosh. I don't ever remember seeing this. I don't either. <laughs> we were like totally mesmerized. It was like, who had built that? So we just continued on to our walk and we went down to where there is like a mill and the beavers had built these dams and all of that stuff and it was just so super good to get out there and enjoy that and so when we came back we you know we made our way back up it was roughly about a two and a half i think mile trek into the woods across the street we didn't encounter anyone we you know didn't didn't really need to i mean i had my mask in my pocket but i never really needed it but then the only other time we went out one day i went grocery shop shopping had mask gloves on another time jay has done i went down to my parents dropped off the food talked to my mother from a distance and i feel so bad she looks so tired she's so taken care of dad she just looks so tired it breaks my heart to see her so tired she's 92 and but thankfully she's able to take care of him and he's at home i can't even imagine i can't even imagine if either one of them had to be in the nursing home or in a hospital or in a rehab facilitator i just can't even imagine with everything that's going on so i'm totally blessed by that i had decided i was going to use the temptress which is is it the anastasia sultry palette dupe basically I believe all the colors are the same. I think I showed this. So I had decided because I have a number of different palettes that I was going to try to start using them because I kind of gravitate to the same ones and I want to see what else I can do. So all this week I worked with just this palette and it was challenging for me because the colors for me were limited. I had a lot of browns, I had a lot of beiges, I did have some grays. I was able to mix some of the colors, which was amazing. I actually mixed the shade Whisper, I think it's called, with blush and also with lace together, and I got a little bit of pink tones out of it. So I, by the end of the week, I got really super creative with this palette, and I was really surprised. So all week, I've created probably, well, I've used it seven days, so I've, I've created slightly different looks basically the same color theme though but you know slightly different look so i decided today i was going to go and use another palette i hadn't touched in a while and this is the the naked three and i'm going to cover this up the mirror i know many of you you probably says no oh, these are old palettes these are not new palettes so this is the Naked 3. When I first got the Naked 3, and I know many people love this, but when I first got the Naked 3, I was like using it and there was nothing in here that was dark enough for me. I like to have a little bit more of a dark around the outer, outer V. Um, you know, I really like to kind of play with it. So today's the first day of using this since I got it. I don't know when I got it. I think I've used it twice. So today's the first day I've used it. And I will have to use my crayons. I call them crayons. They're the, I, I have some that are the NYX. They're the, the white ones and the pink ones. And then I have my favorite of the Ultra Beauty ones that I have like four or five of them. So I, I didn't use it today, but I can see that I'm going to have to use it, um, use some of those. And that's okay. So, but this is the palette I'm going to do this week. I wish I felt comfortable enough to like take pictures of the look of the day, you know, to show you the eye look of the day, but I really don't. The other thing I wanted to mention is that because I'm like really feeling the need for a tan and I can't have a tan, 
but this is the number seven airbrush away uh, this is a tinted skin perfector I don't know how long I've had this I think I bought it I used it once and I didn't like it it's very satiny and it's very dark I'm gonna put a little on my hand here so you can see I don't know if you can see it or not but it's very very dark it is tinted and I said oh that's gonna be too that's gonna be too dark for me and so I I just put it away I never used it and now you can see I'm rubbing it into my hand and what it does it kind of absorbs into your skin and just gives you a a light tint so what I've been doing is I've actually been kind of using it as a primer I still I use my elf poreless primer on my nose I have to there so I use that and I let that settle in and then I use this and I kind of put that on top of it go up into and, and it kind of gives me a really I think it gives me a really nice base for my foundation and so whatever foundation I'm using that day goes on top of it and I've been alternating between my CYO using my Estee Lauder Double Wear, but most of the time it's my CYO on top of this, and it's held up fantastic. I was like, I was like so, so uh, super happy I tried it again. So, I mean, I was going through all my stuff and I'm like going, all right, what am I gonna do? You know, I'm not going shopping, I'll try something else. So, I got that. One thing that I got accepted for a, um, a product review from Octoly, and this is Clarins, and I was kind of really looking forward to this because this is their Hydro Essential Moisturizing Reviving Eye Mask. It's actually really nice. Little oops, I didn't want to put it on. I've only used it a couple of times. I just rub it in. No scent, but very, very rich. And that's what I really like around my eyes. So I got that via Octoly from Clarence, complimentary in exchange for a review. And so far I'm liking it, but it's only been a couple of days. So I'll let you know how I like it as I continue to use it. Hair talk. <laughs> what do I have on my head? What is Monica wearing? I have this week, I've gotten three wigs. Two for review and one that I bought. And one that I have gotten that I'm going to film, I haven't filmed yet, which is I'm really excited because I have not tried a Tress Allure wig at all. But this was a wig that was sent to me from Wig Studio One. It's Tress Allure Skylar. I really am looking forward to reviewing it. Right now, I have, it, it, the directions tell you, you know, before you plop a wig on your head, you need to shake it. You know, you need to hang it upside down, shake it around and all that. But the style of this is really pretty and I'm really looking forward to reviewing it because I think the color is very close to colors that I wear and that I really like. The other wig that I got in, some of you have seen the pictures because I've already posted some of those on Instagram was the brand new Uniwigs release. They have the 2020 release right now and they, they have they have a line that has monofilament hit hand tied caps and they have this new real tress it's called real tress which is their heat defiant fibers on the wigs and I'm telling you I was blown away by the fibers on that wig. So the real tress is heat friendly so you can style it if you want, but this is a real short pixie. I'm gonna enclose the picture. A real short pixie look. I have gotten so many compliments from it. I, I It's so stinking cute, I can't get over it. So, on my head. This is my Raquel Welch. You guys know I love Raquel Welch. There is nothing like a Raquel Welch, in my opinion, when it comes to your lace front, your monofilament, your cap, the styling, the fibers, I really, I mean, Macau Welch wigs are uh, more pricey, obviously, but they are top-notch to me as far as the quality of the fibers. So I have been really, there's a couple of Macau Welch wigs that I've been wanting to get, and I have them on my wish list. So I kind of monitor the sites that have wigs for sale, including eBay. And so there's been a couple of times I've tried to jump on one of my Raquel Welch wigs that I really wanted that I've lost. This one I actually got, and I'm going to show you 
a little bit of the cap as I'm, I'm talking to you. This wig retails for over $400, first of all. This is not a new release. This is an older release, so it's not like it's a style that just came out that everyone's going after that's super hot, like say unfiltered. So this is upstage, it's been around for a while, and I have it in the color Shaded Cappuccino, which in Raquel Welch, I love Shaded Wheat and Shaded Cappuccino. Those are my two pref preferred colors in Raquel Welch's wigs. And um, take a look at this cap. I mean, this is hand tied. There is no permatees, hardly, I mean, maybe a little bit on the sides, but I don't even think so, hardly at all any permatees. This, the fibers are just really pretty. So I have, and this is what I wanted to tell you, when you're buying a wig, uh, if you're buying a used wig, first of all, the questions you need to ask and get really specific answers to and get them in writing, what is the style of the wig? Manufacturer style, color, no brainer. Cap size. Now you might have someone says I don't know, and that's okay, you know. But you can try to try to look it up. When did you buy it? How long have you owned it? How often do you feel you've worn it? More importantly, why are you selling it? Why do you not want it? Then you can ask the other questions. Have you get, have you given it a bath? Have you washed it? Have you heat styled it? Have you trimmed it at all? Has it been cut? Has it been, you know, modified in any way? Are there any smokers in your house? Any pets that could have been near it? Any odors that the wig has? These are the types of questions you need to ask the wig seller if you're buying a used wig privately. Now, if you're buying it like off of eBay, you can check the ratings, but even off of eBay, I saw a very popular wig reviewer selling a wig on eBay. All of her pictures were there. It was beautiful Raquel Welch. It was dirt cheap. I looked at the pictures and I said, wow, I can't believe she's selling that wig that dirt cheap. I think it was, I think it was Editor's Pick. And I think it was in Shaded Biscuit. Biscuit. I mean, it was beautiful, right? You, all, you would all know who this person was. I can't believe she's selling it that cheap. And then when I further looked into it, I saw that the person selling it was not didn't, didn't have a name that made any sense to me. And then I looked at the reviews. They had none. They had recently opened up that page on eBay. And I figured they just skimmed those photos. I'm sure they did not have permission to use those photos. And I don't even know ultimately what wig they were selling. However, it was removed. So anyways, you know, I mean, there are scam artists all the way around. So if you're buying it off of eBay, definitely buyer beware for sure. And if you're buying it off a of private sale, check that person out too. Because like, for example, um, on Facebook, flip it, what's it called? Flip your wig. Most of those people that are posting wigs for sale have profiles. Click on their profile. If they have nothing on their profile, then they're a scam account. Click on their name. You know, I mean, just highlight their name. It'll bring you to their so-called Facebook page. If there's nothing there, most likely it's a scam account. Try to verify your seller, but ask those series of questions so that when you buy a wig, if you're buying a $400, like a $400 wig, that even if it's 20 or 30% off, would still be a lot of money for very little money, you need to really question what has been done to the wig? Why are you selling it? You know, have the, has there been any modification? Have you given it a bath? Why do you, you know, why is someone selling it? So anyways, long story short, I got this wig. I bought it used. I did all my research. The questions I didn't ask was, have you given it a bath? Have you heat styled it? And when I opened up the package, the first thing I smelled was downy, fabric softener type of a smell really overwhelming and I was kind of shocked because they said she had said that she only wore the wig two or three times and I'm thinking well if you're wearing something two or three times why do you really have to give it a bath you know or if you're giving it a bath to sell you know I'm thinking oh is there an odor so anyways and then I couldn't tell you know I couldn't tell if it had been modified it looked shorter to me than I expected it to be but then again I have nine inches and a lot of the models that wear these or even some of the reviewers they have shorter faces so the wig looks longer in the back slightly flipped I've seen somewhere it's been a huge flip so I don't know but I love the wig 
I'm very, very happy with it. it. The downy smell is thankfully dissipating, but it really brought to the forefront that for those of you that might be thinking of buying a used wig, it's one thing if you're buying it off of someone you know. You know, I mean, I wouldn't hesitate if I was buying a wig from Marlene or from Taz or, you know, a legitimate people that I know that I wouldn't hesitate. But when it's someone you don't know, yeah. Better yet, buy it from an established retailer, you know, like Wig Studio One, or if you want to buy a uni wig, wig, uni wigs, um, you know, buy it off of a legitimate retailer. That's my wig spiel. This is my Raquel Welch upstage, and I think I have my uni wigs wig review coming one time during the week. During the week is a short video, and then the other video I'm recording probably tomorrow is going to be my Tressalor from Wig Studio One. I'm so appreciate. I so appreciate all the wigs that I get from Wig Studio One. I can't wait to share this one with you guys because it's really pretty. It's really pretty. So thanks so much for spending a little bit of your time with me tonight, and I hope you all are well. And um, yeah, I just hope you're all well. We'll get through this time frame. Life will get somewhat back to normal. So, thanks guys. Bye-bye.